In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new UEN Rubrics tool. And to access this tool, you need to first either log in to MyUEN, which is actually my.uen.org, sign into your account, and then go to your personal page and look for the Rubric Creation tool. So either do that, or you could just, if you're already in the lesson plan tool working on a lesson, you could just go to the assessment portion of your lesson plan, go to the rubrics area, and then at the bottom of that, you should see a button that says UEN Rubric Tool. Because you're already signed into the lesson plan tool, it should automatically grant you access. So whichever of those methods you use to get to the rubrics tool, you should end up in the same place, which is this. And I'm gonna close a couple of these tabs just to make that look a little nicer. So here in the rubrics tool, you'll get a list of rubrics that you've created or used in the past. If you don't see that, it might just mean that you haven't used the UEN rubric tool in the past. I wanna create a new rubric, so I click that button. It opens up with some tools that I can use to make my rubric. The easiest way to make a rubric with the UEN rubric tool is to select a rubric template. Let's say that you wanna make a rubric that is a rubric for beginning writers or for an oral presentation or a multimedia presentation or it's based on communication skills, whatever it might be, there might be a rubric here to match what you're looking for. So I'm gonna choose oral presentation rubric and because I chose a rubric, it named it for me, but I could change that name if I wanted to. I could put in my teacher name, the date, the class period. Next, I select grade levels, sixth grade, fifth grade, 11th grade, whatever it might be. Now, if you wanna choose more than one grade level, Notice what you have to do. You have to hold either Control if you're on a Windows computer or Command if you're on a Mac. Hold that key and then you can click more than one grade. If you don't hold that key, it won't let you pick more than one grade. Over on the right, you choose the core area. And again, if it's more than one, hold Control or Command on a Mac. You could put in a project description about the project and then down below, the rubric has already been made for me. Why? Because I chose a template. I chose an oral presentation rubric, and so it filled in the grades or the feedback, superior, adequate, minimal, inadequate. It also put in the criteria that the students will be judged on. So content, delivery, organization, creativity, length of presentation, and it put in descriptions of what superior means for content. What is adequate content? What is inadequate content? What is superior delivery? And so forth. Now, if you disagree with any of these templates, you can very easily click to go in and you can delete the text that's there. You can retype it. You can add details to that. So you don't have to stick just to the pre-made template. When you're done, you can just click save. And then if you want, you can find that rubric. You can just click print view and it brings it up. So this rubric now can be printed. You can share the rubric with someone, send it to them by copying this link and emailing it to them. Or if you're using the lesson plan tool, that rubric now should be available. You might need to click this refresh button, but once you do, you should be able to go down and select the particular rubric and add it to your lesson plan. There it is. So that is the easiest way of creating a rubric. Just use a template and then adapt it. But what if there's not a template that's even close to what you want for your rubric? Well, what you could do is just choose blank and fill it in from scratch. And when you get down here to the criteria, look, you can add a row, you can add columns. I'm gonna add three columns and I'll say, the first one is worth 10 points. So if they want 10 points on the assignment, they need to do this. Next, we'll have six points, and then we'll have three points. Okay, now this is kind of arbitrary, but you could fill this in however you want. And then what's the criteria? What are they gonna be judged on? How about the content of their work? I could add another row and say maybe the length of their work. And, and then here, I would type in a description of what that looks like. So you can see creating a rubric from scratch using a blank rubric, it's a lot more work. You're gonna to have to think it through and describe exactly what each of these is. But when you're done, you can just click save and it looks like I need a title, but I can click save and now I've got that rubric. Here it is and I can print it and view it and it's ready to be shared. So the rubrics tool, 
It's very nice. It's a good way to provide some guidance to your students in a way that's organized and helps them know what the expectations are. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy using the UEN rubric tool.